There's no need for taxpayer-funded media, says Ben Bradley. Yeah? Me and him would probably get on quite well in the pub, wouldn't we, if they were open. Let's take a look at this story. Hi, it's me again, and I spotted this story about a Conservative MP talking about the TV licence. Let's take a look at it and have a bit of a chat about it. Conservative MP Ben Bradley launched a scathing attack on the current state of the BBC in his speech at a petition debate on the future of the licence fee on Monday. The petition in question called on the government to revoke the TV licence using legislation and has received over 110,000 signatures promoting a debate in Parliament. Mr Bradley slammed the broadcaster for spending £100 million on diversity whilst at the same time ditching regional news to save £25 million. This is one of the clearest indicators that it is out of touch. The government is focusing on reaching out to communities across the country, added the MP for Mansfield, but sometimes it feels like the BBC has forgotten that other places exist outside of London. I don't think that the programming represents the full range of thoughts and values that are out there. Spending this hundred million on diversity but seemingly having no plan to combat the lack of diversity of experience, of geography and of thought within the BBC itself, I struggle to see how they can represent working class towns like Mansfield and Worksop if it scraps regional teams and runs the whole thing from London. Yeah, the man makes a fair point, doesn't he? You know, I've made a video on this hundred million they're spending on diversity before and I don't see how they can spend a hundred million on diversity. It doesn't cost any more when someone's coming for a job as an admin assistant or an actor or director or whatever to hire somebody if they're suited for the job from an ethnic background as opposed to it does to hire a white bloke like me. It doesn't cost any more to do that. So where's the hundred million going? I don't understand. And yet they're cutting regional news to save 25 million. How ridiculous. And loads of the regional news channels out there have, you know, presenters and people like working on the team from ethnic minorities who are going to lose their jobs to make the whole of the BBC within London more diverse. Whole thing makes no sense. Whole thing makes no sense, does it? He went on to say, the licence fee model isn't sustainable in the long term and with the rise of new technology, it is outdated. It made sense back in the day when there were three or four channels and government subsidy was vital, but nowadays there is no need for taxpayer funded media. We are spoiled for choice with the myriad of services to choose from. People should have the choice whether to pay and watch BBC content rather than being criminalised. So what, I kind of get the idea that he's been watching a few of my videos because he sounds a lot like me. The BBC's funding model isn't sustainable and it is old fashioned and people are happy to pay for things they watch but they don't want to feel criminalised for something they don't care about or don't want to watch, being forced to pay it. So me and this guy, we're going to get on alright aren't we? What do you think? Does he think he makes a fair point? Or do you think it's just another Conservative MP who still doesn't know what he's talking about? I think this guy's probably pretty much on the ball. Did you watch the debate as well? It was broadcast live and you can watch that without a TV licence because it wasn't on a TV channel. So did you watch it? Let me know your thoughts below and we'll have a bit of a chat about it. So leave your comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps you keep up to date with the latest videos that I put out. Hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, there's a button for that as well. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thank you for watching. Just quickly before you go, I've got loads of links below. If you need some TV related stuff and you were going to buy it on Amazon, I've got links below. Buy your stuff through there and I get a little bit of a kickback. I've also got t-shirts and mugs and things below. The reason I'd like you to buy stuff through me is because I need to support my website, tvlicensestop.co.uk, that helps loads of people every day to cancel their TV license and set their mind at ease that it's perfectly okay to do it. And by buying stuff, I get a little bit of a commission that helps to pay for that. And that makes you directly part of the fight against TV licensing with me as a little team. Thank you very much.